Tanti. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. Officials now say more than 400 people have been sickened and nine people have died. The World Health Organization is holding an emergency meeting right now. Kena Whitworth is in Seattle, has the latest for us. Good morning, Kena. Hey, Robin, good morning. So that patient is a man in his 30s. He is in the hospital here behind me. Now, officials are describing his condition as satisfactory, but he will remain in isolation for at least the next couple of days. They will continue to monitor him as well as the health care providers and patients he came into contact with after testing positive for the coronavirus. <laughs> Ten days ago, most people know that we ordered a three-week suspension of school operations at all public and private K-12 schools in Massachusetts from March 17th until April 6th. Today, we are issuing an order, I just signed it, that will, that will order all schools and all non-emergency child care programs to remain closed through the end of April, reopening no sooner than Monday, May 4. Petri dish out here <laughs> if it had the marathon today with all the people. Early this morning at the starting line in Hopkinton, no crowds at all. It's a lot different, a little twilight zone-ish. <laughs> Our affiliate WCVB spotted just one runner being dropped off by his family. He quickly disappeared into the darkness. It's, it's not a great accomplishment. You're not going to be celebrated for it. No one's going to be clapping for you. Because of COVID-19, city officials convinced the Boston Athletic Association to postpone this year's marathon till September. A significant change for an event held every Patriots Day since 1897. Even two world wars and a bombing didn't stop it. But this year, Boston Strong has a different meaning. The first human trials in Australia of a potential COVID-19 vaccine have begun in Melbourne. An American biotech company that's developed the drug is hoping for a breakthrough before the end of the year. More from Dougal Beatty. In the race to overcome COVID-19, Australia is running ahead of the pack. The country's first human trial of a vaccine is now underway. I think what we're bringing to the table is a very strong immunogenic vaccine. It gives you functional responses. US biotechnology company Novavax is spearheading the trial. 131 participants in Melbourne and Brisbane will receive the dose. Australia selected as a test site after flattening the curve. I'm optimistic. Uh, that will have a vaccine. We'd love to cover, uh, you know, the Australian people with a, with a working vaccine. Phase one of the trial will determine the safety of the vaccine, ensuring it doesn't cause any adverse health effects. Some participants will be given a purified protein, others a placebo.